guys, Dirty here from Premiere Basics, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a sky replacement, but not only that, no, you'll also learn how to create a day for a night and add some lightning effects. A lot to learn today, so let's not waste any more time and jump right into the video. So you wanna find a shot of a house or shoot something outside and drag that into the timeline. Now to replace the sky, search for the color key effect in your effects library. Drop it onto the clip and head over to the effects controls. Select the color picker and click somewhere in the sky of your video and that will select that color. Now head back to the color key properties and adjust the settings until the sky is completely gone. If your video has a blue sky, you could also use the ultra key effect, which does a way better job with blue or green key. Now if the color key removes a part that is unwanted, you can always draw a quick mask around it. This is pretty easy because there's no camera motion in this video. If you do have a moving shot, then definitely stick around till the end of the video as I have a great tip for that. Now find a video of a night sky and drag it underneath your clip and if necessary, you can adjust the position of that. I found something really cool with lightning on story blocks. So that already gives you the sky replacement, but it doesn't really blend that well with the rest of the scene. So let's change the house from day to night. To do that, open up the Lumetri color panel from the window menu on top, and we're gonna add some blue to the shot because there's no warm sunlight at night. That way we're going to make it appear colder. So drag the temperature slider to the left. Now as you can see, my sky has a bit magenta in it, so I'm going to push the tint slider to the right. This will make it blend way better together because it looks like the sky is now reflecting on my house. Also decrease the saturation since there isn't much light to reflect the colors from. Finally pull back the exposure and that will make your video look a lot darker. Now it's possible that you have this washed out image and to fix that we're gonna increase the contrast. And if necessary you can dive into the curves where you can pull back the highlights even more to make it look even darker and perhaps create a small S curve here on the bottom to maintain that contrast. All right the next step is the most important of them all because we're going to blend everything together. But first, a word from today's sponsor. Riverside is a platform where you can record studio quality podcasts and video recordings from anywhere in the world, remotely. I've been using it recently alongside more than 70,000 other creators like Guy Raz, Gary V, and even companies such as Spotify and the New York Times. But Jordy, why not use a video call application? Well, because Riverside will record each participant's video up to 4K resolution and upload it to their cloud. That way, the video and sound quality is always stable regardless of the internet bandwidth or connection. So even if the live streaming is lower quality, the actual recording will always be high quality. Then after the recording session, the host can download the video and audio track separately for each participant. That gives you much more control in post-production and this will of course save you a lot of time. The studio interface is incredibly user-friendly because your guests don't need to install anything. All they need is a link to join the Riverside Studio from their browser. Now if you want, you can also join the studio as a producer and watch from the backstage without being recorded. That way you can control the show and make sure that all the settings are correct. They also have a mobile app where you can invite, record, and download your high quality video recordings easily. Riverside also comes with a lot of useful features that will increase your workflow. You can use Riverside's editor to transform your long form content into short form content in just a few clicks. Also, tons of creators are sharing their positive experience with Riverside, so definitely check it out for yourself, guys. You can find out more about Riverside by clicking the link in the description down below. And now let's get back to Premiere. We're gonna add some light flashes at the moment where the lightning strikes. Now to make life easier, you can place markers by pressing M on your keyboard every time a lightning bolt appears. Now find Lumetri Color in the effects library and drop it onto your clip. You can rename it to lightning or whatever you like. Then expand the basic correction tab because we're gonna make the video flash by increasing the exposure every time the lightning strikes. Set a keyframe on the marker you placed and move one frame forward. Increase the exposure depending on the harshness of the lightning strike, then move forward again until the lightning is gone. Here, set a keyframe to zero. Now do this for every marker that you've set on the entire video. Then when that is done, you can also look for a rain overlay effect if you like. Again, something that I got from Storyblocks. Drag it on top of your video, then go to the effects controls and set the blend mode to screen. Perhaps play around with the opacity until it blends in with your clip. And look at that. Honestly, I think this is a really cool effect and that you're able to do this in Premiere is really awesome. But now, what if your shot is moving? How do you deal with a sky replacement then? Well, I've got a great video right here which explains how you can make your mask follow a moving camera shot. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Riverside, for sponsoring this video. And guys, make sure to hit that like button if you learned something new today. And as always, stay creative.